Hi, hey, welcome to another Cups Tutoring Tutorial. Our goal is to condense information into videos that are somewhat rich in content but still take a very short time to watch. More than one viewing is usually required for a new skill. One of the easiest things to learn in a spreadsheet that saves you a ton of time is a tool called Autofill. <clears throat> when I want to fill a cell with data and there's a regular pattern to it, most of the time Excel can help you with that. For example, if I were to type the date, let's say January 1st, 2016, okay. So if I have the date here, I only need one, and I grab the small green box in the bottom, little handle, and it knows what the date is, and it's going to keep it going to the next day, and the next day, and the next day. There's a little option thing at the bottom, too, that I can tell it I just want the weekdays if I want, or, well, there are other options, too, you should explore. Okay, yeah, day of the week, it'll be recognized. So grab, again, the little box in the corner. That's the autofill handle. Yeah, that column's not really wide enough, so I'm going to go between B and C and drag it over, which you probably figured out how to do by now by exploring on your own. What's nice about the weekdays is sometimes I just want to abbreviate them. So if I have MON by itself, I can grab the handle and autofill that too. And it'll still recognize that I want to do days. But anyway, let's keep going. January, it's a month. Excel knows what a month is, luckily, so it'll keep it going. It also doesn't matter what month I start on. Maybe I'm in July now. But if I start on July and I autofill down, well, what comes after July? And, well, you get the idea. Okay. Um, also, C's not wide enough for September there, so I just, like, I gotta fix it. I gotta fix it. Day one. It sees that it's a label. It's gonna recognize it as a label. However, if you autofill it, it'll see that there's a value in the label, which is pretty convenient when you have it in this format because sometimes you don't wanna type all that. Or you don't want to go back and change all that. Well, okay, I'll stop talking. Over here in the other worksheet, we have a dog show, for instance. So we could say dog number one got a ranking of five, and then we don't need to go type the other ones. Then we use the autofill. All right, well, back to what we were doing. Format. Well, let's say we want to fill this up with like green, and we want to give it a really thick border, and now this looks really different. But the format will be recognized. Not only will it repeat this label, It'll repeat the format. So now I have the same format applied to all of those. Uh, speaking of labels, of course, if you do one, it'll do the one over and over and over again. Or maybe we want to have other appliances there. Uh, what do you see in the kitchen? Uh, micro. Oh, there's another column width to adjust. Let's grab that range. I can use shift in the arrow keys. I can click in the middle of the cell and hold it down and get to another cell, however you like to do it. But luckily there's a pattern established now. And when you establish a pattern by selecting a range and then autofill the whole range, it'll repeat it over and over. So sometimes that's useful too for voting purposes or if you need to have hey, something you're going to cut out into labels later. Well, there are lots of reasons to do that. Uh, let's see if I got the number one and I autofill. Eh, boring. But I've got the little handle down here, and I can say, I actually want to do a series and not repeat that over and over again. Or I can establish the pattern. So one after one, maybe I want a two, OK? Um, and then I want to grab that you know, and keep it going. Or maybe I didn't want one, two, three, four. Maybe I wanted odd numbers. So I have one, three, and five, or whatever. I really only need two if it's a linear pattern. Uh, to establish, which is nice to know, but maybe I want like uh, 3n minus 1, so 3 times 1 minus 1 would be 2, 5, 8, you see what's going on, right? Okay, new, new, new. cool, all right. So anyway, as long as it's a linear pattern, Excel should be able to recognize it and continue it. So if you need 2, 4, 6, say, who do we appreciate, autofill is your tool. Um, there are some other ways, but those are probably the most useful to get you started. You should start autofilling some things and seeing what happens. Thanks for watching. This has been brought to you by Cups Tutoring. Remember to practice these skills without the video right away to help them take hold in a more active part of your memory. And above all, while trying to learn new material, remember to set aside time to get plenty of exercise and sleep. Thank you for watching our demonstration.